What is up guys? Welcome to yet another episode of Kicking It With Manny. Today I am super excited to have my guest with me and we are talking about how to navigate across cultural relationships. A lot of you guys out there are in relationship with other people from different cultures. You really don't know how to navigate. You're struggling to understand the person. You're struggling to get along. Today's conversation is going to help you have some open perspective about how to approach the relationship. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, follow, like, and let's dive into today's conversation. So, um, tell our viewers a little bit about you, what you do, what you enjoy doing, and then we will jump into the conversation. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Ali. I am passionate about a lot of things, um, but a few of them are um, coffee, dancing, I'm a samba dancer, and then travel. Um, so I dance at this studio in Denver, it's called Bella Diva, and Manny actually teaches a drumming class there. You should check out his drumming videos, you're an excellent drummer. But I studied dance here in America for like five years, samba dance in particular, and we've had people from Brazil come like teach workshops and they tell us things like, what it's like living there, what the environment is like, what the landscape is like. And some of the dance moves, they're like literally traveling around because they grew up in these like windy areas really far away. So you hear these things and you imagine in your head like what that's like. Um, but until you're actually there, like living and breathing um, in Brazil, everything kind of just takes a little bit longer. Life moves slower um, and people have different struggles than we do here. Um, so until you're living, breathing that, it's just words, you know? Like, I truly don't think we can tell that story well mm -hmm. without experiencing it. Yeah. So I'm a forever changed dancer from, like, going there. Yeah. So with you traveling to Brazil, just talking a little bit about the cultural difference, what's one of the things that you think when it comes to relationship has impacted your perspective with you traveling there? Um, I think one thing I witnessed there was like an outward expression of interest and attraction. Um, I feel like here there might be a little bit of like beating around the bush and that might just be the different apps that we have and I'm not exactly sure but I just noticed a lot more people like if they're interested in you they made it clear and vice versa if you're not interested in them you were able to make that clear and it seemed at least from my perspective to stop start and stop then. Mm -hmm. um, and so I felt like that was a really beautiful thing to witness. It might have been Carnival in particular. I got to go to Carnival um, in 2023 and people are in their little costumes and just truly expressing themselves. And I think like a side effect of expressing yourself is you feel a little bit more free to let others know when you're interested or not interested. Yeah. So they, um, your experience, it's more people are more direct when they are interested when they like you and they like how you flow and stuff like that compared to here where people are not too straight they are just you know using different tactics before they come straight to you and talk exactly exactly um another big thing is like flirting through dance like i think that's one of the benefits of dating someone that has another culture is you learn a whole new way to flirt with them um so i don't know if you can speak to that on drumming at all but like it again it's another way to express yourself of like hey, I'm interested in you. Another thing that's interesting, I went to Spain before and I learned that like the fans they use, mm -hmm. um, are, they can be like ways to communicate with each other. So the more you learn about these cultural differences, like the more you start to have creative ways to play mm. in a relationship. That's, that's really eye-opening to hear just because I've never been to Brazil before, but to other places in Europe, um, just seeing how, I mean, coming from Africa, the African mindset is kind of like a Caribbean mindset. It's very much the same. Um, but the, with, with how you're saying with people being able to flirt in different ways and different things, I feel like that is that's is kind of the exciting thing about other cultures that a lot of people are missing out on. Just because their brains are too cornered, they are too simple. They cannot, I mean, sim simple is fine, but their brains cannot cannot think of anything else than what they're used to. So when someone approached them and the person is direct, 
it comes off within the cultural perspective it comes off as too direct or too straight or too uh, disrespectful some people will take it that way so do you feel like cross-cultural relationships are much better or do you feel like it's good to really stick with what you know what's your what's your perspective on that well relationships are hard in general i don't think there's like one relationship that's better than the other Mm -hmm. um but one one thing that comes up to me is this concept like of loyalty and i feel that people tend to be very loyal to the cultures you know where they came from Mm -hmm. their lifestyles their belief systems um and that's a good thing Mm -hmm. you know it's okay to have like a fully developed opinion on something right um but we're fed this lie that your partner is supposed to be 100 percent loyal to you um and so it can be really hard when you're trying to balance that like am i trying to be loyal to my culture to myself to my beliefs versus putting that pressure on your partner to then match where you're at so i think if two people can respect each other enough to kind of come together as like maybe the yin and the yang. You can be different, you can have different lifestyles, but as you're two whole pieces on their own, creating something else. Yeah. Um, And I I also see that to be the potential issue as well. Like, (laughs) culture tends to come up in big moments in life, Mm -hmm. in birth, in death in sickness and so if you're sweeping it under the rug throughout your relationship Mm -hmm. bam something like stressful happens that's when you know the culture is really going to show up and Mm -hmm. maybe disagreements as well if they haven't created space for them to be different so do you agree um my 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 perspective is very i'm very I'm i'm a very globalized thinker so when it comes to cultures it doesn't face me i don't really it doesn't it's not a big deal because i've experienced too many cultures to be able to you know some things are simple to talk about stuff some things even if they are life-changing situations they are not the end of the world and i feel like the differences are is the beauty of what two people bring together compared to just you know i'm working a straight line 24 7. uh that stuff it gets boring but I feel like more people should be open to cross-cultural relationships just so that they can experience something different than what they're used to. Because it gets boring, it gets repetitive when you are doing the same thing over and over again or you are meeting similar people, the same person. You're meeting maybe uh, Jack. Jack looks normal. Or you're meeting Greg. It's like, come on, meet someone else. You know, go, go outside of what you were used to so that you can challenge yourself a little bit so that you can kind of like allow yourself to think outside of the box because we live in a world where social media has allowed us the privilege to see other things than what we are used to it has the goods and the bads but at the end of the day i feel like cultures are a big part of the world in general and cultures really defines a lot of different qualities that if we allow ourselves to really learn from it to be open to it it's it's fun to enjoy and for me I've, that's one of the things about me i am so open to cultures i will prefer someone different than i am or different from where i'm from just because it allows me to get to know different things even though i feel like you know america is very very i don't know now it's become like one way in when i say one way in the sense that you know similar music and stuff like that now African music, Afro beats, and everything is taking the world and everything else. But I feel like Europe, Asia, all these places, you can still, you know, have people from there. It, it all comes down to what you like. But I feel like people need to be more open to cross cultural relationships just so they can be more open minded, they can be more explorative, and they can grow to another level. Because doing the same thing, the same culture, the same food, the same music, the same lifestyle, it just, it's boring. I absolutely agree with you and what are like what's the most joyful thing in a relationship is when you learn something about yourself and then you get to go to somebody that you're excited to share that like look at what I learned I learned that I like all these new foods or I enjoy speaking in a different language or celebrating my birthday a different way like it can be a very amazing way for people to be vulnerable and grow together 
So do you feel like or do you think when it comes to a cross-cultural relationship, what, what are some of the things like with you going to Spain and going to Brazil, what are some of the things or what are like few things that you think people need to be really aware before going into, because you went into another culture compared to what you're used to. What are some of the things you feel like people need to be aware of when they are going into another culture or even going to the extent of a relationship? The biggest thing that comes to mind is like pacing of the world. Like I feel like here in the US and depending on where you live as well, like there's the hustle and bustle of the city, you know? There's like a joke going around social media right now. Like this is what it's like to be friends in this day and age. I'll see you in three months. Then you cancel. I'll see you in three months. Like it's kind of, we've made this the normal that we're so busy in our lives that we can't really make time for mm -hmm. connection or just in enjoying celebrating. Um, and I think that's one of the biggest like shocks when people travel outside of here is like, you'll spend a couple hours having dinner. There's breaks in the middle of the day for rest or for family. Um, so having that respect and that expectation that your pace might be different than somebody that you're dating. Mm. Interesting. So do you feel like it's hard like when you travel you travel with other people just with how you are you seen through the brazilian culture or the spanish culture do you feel like there is a huge cultural gap between people and how they relate with other people from different part of the world or do you feel like there is more community base when people are coming from let's say america to brazil do, how do you how do you with your experience and what with your travels how do you feel so far with what you observed I think this kind of goes back to what you were saying, like once you start to see a few different places, you realize like how are all universally similar mm -hmm. in a lot of different ways. Um, people like to eat together, they like to celebrate together, they grieve together, um, and there might be different expressions for that. But like you said, it's really fun to experience those new expressions, like you might find that you enjoy it, you might find that you don't, either way, like you feel good after, I think. <laughs> um, so in my experience, like going to these other places, um, especially places where there's lots of tourists, they know that and, mm -hmm. and they're like, here, welcome, experience all our culture because once you see it, you're going to see just how similar we are. Mm -hmm. Nice, that's good to know. Do you feel like men in other cultures are way more desirable than men in America? personal question it could, it could be gen i mean you have friends who you know you travel with and how they interact with men out there okay. during the trip so what's i that? think it depends on relationship like it depends on your relationship to that culture mm -hmm. um so for that being said like i studied and am passionate about samba and so you know seeing somebody that was there dancing and had that same passion yeah of course that's like very attractive. Final take is it sounds like extremely beneficial um, to date outside of your culture, um, to learn things about yourself, to challenge the way that you live your life, the way that you do relationships. Um, and at the end of the day, like you have to carry enough um, self-awareness and self-respect that you can see someone's difference without questioning who you are um yeah i think people should do it <laughs> so one, one one last question wait what's your answer on that um for me always date outside of culture because you will never find anything that is different than you are you are used to this you grew up like this this is how what, how you do everything when you go outside of your culture you will be challenged a little bit but it will allow you to grow in a different way. It will allow you to expand your mindsets, the way you live, the way you see things, the way you perceive situations. Absolutely. So for me, you know, dating and be having a relationship from other cultures is very beneficial to you as a person. But the biggest thing is that you need to go into that relationship or that dating with a very open mind. Mm -hmm. You cannot have someone from a different culture 
and be close to what their cultural values are. Because a lot of people, like you said before, are very attached to their culture. They are very loyal to the culture. And most people struggle to understand, he's a man, why can he not understand me? But at the end of the day, you are not even making room to understand where he came from. That's the biggest struggle I feel like a lot of people have. Most people also do not know how to communicate. They don't know how to communicate in the sense that they cannot allow the person to talk. They are either talking too much or they are not talking at all. Mm -hmm. You have to kind of like observe how the person is and then try to understand them and then approach them in a way. Because there are some men, they are, their culture have designed them to be very dominant. I am the same with Africans or some Africans are, I don't know about the places in Africa, but in general, African Caribbean men, we are very territorial. If you were very dominant, but we also have a soft spot. So if you are dealing with a person like that, you don't know how to talk to him and you are yelling too much and you feel like you want to be the man in the house when he is the man, there is going to be conflict. Right. That's my... It comes up in the most stressful moments. And so if you can't handle it in the fun time, like you got to be open to the joy mm -hmm. and the, because that's what carries you through in like differences. But that happens in any relationship, you know? So if you're not aware that like everyone's different and right. has their they're entitled to feel different about things guys i hope you enjoyed this conversation and it was really fun being able to have ali with me and have this open conversation if you guys enjoyed this and you have any questions drop them in the comments and if you enjoyed this conversation subscribe like guys and we'll see you in the next episode peace bye